First, let's go over this Ryobi Airstrike. Now, this actually is a previous model that I, I bought about a few years ago. Like I said, when I first started the channel, I didn't even know that battery-operated brad nailers was even an option. This is model number P320. It, there are two LED lights on the front. You can adjust the depth of how far the nail actually goes in. There's a single nail mode and there is a multi-nail mode where you just hold the trigger down and then go to town. The battery lasts a while with a low amp hour battery. Like I said, this goes to five eighths to up to two inches. This only shot a couple of thousand brads and it still works like it's brand new. One flaw with this, it might just be my unit, but I have issues if this is sitting out in the cold. This will not work until this is sort of like room temperature. But th that's the one issue that I have. Not too shabby of a unit, you guys. Not too shabby of a unit at all. Let's do this M12 vacuum. I'm not a fan of this, by the way. I'm not, I do not like this attachment. They should have created something with bristles on it. You can easily scratch surfaces with that. All right, let's put this back together. Like I said, this is an M12 battery. We are using the three amp hour battery in that. It does come with two hose attachments and they both fit in their spots. Then this goes in like that. Battery indicator on the top. There is high and low. And this is a wet and dry vac. Brand new Hilti Neuron single handed reciprocating saw. Now this thing is a bad man pajama. I bought this in Wisconsin. They had it in stock and I decided to drive up there. It was only like an hour and 20 minute drive each way. Well worth it. I was able to pick this up immediately. They do have a 12 volt version. The model for this is SR4-22. It's a 3000 strokes per minute. All you gotta do is rotate the collet to get the saw blade in. Then you are good to go. Does have a single LED light underneath the collet. Let's go over the 16 foot cobalt compact wide bladed tape measure. This only has a lock above the strip. This does not have any index finger stop at the bottom. I love the numbers. I love the color coordination on this. Everything is very obvious. So let's actually do a test really quick and see on how this is when it comes to extending this as far as it can go without snapping. It would be nice if this had a index finger stop. Careful, we got this up to 10, almost 11 feet. Let's see. Oh, there it goes. So let's get this off and let's see if this re uh, retracts itself pretty well. Not too shabby. So as I told you guys before, I am gonna be branching out to other stuff besides just power tools. I do wanna branch out into painting supplies and I have a couple of paint brushes here that I use throughout the years. I did not know that Ace Hardware actually sells Corona. This Trilon and Woodstar Pro brush, these are from uh, Home Depot. Uh, but I don't like those. I actually love using Corona brushes. These bristles are extremely soft and they're absolutely amazing. Least amount of streaks as possible when it comes to applying paint on your surface. Of course, you get the correct size for what you're actually doing. I have a one inch and two and a half inch angle. I'm not too big of a fan of straight edged paintbrushes. I like the angle ones. And if you guys are looking for a paintbrush and you guys want a good one, I'd uh, search for Corona. Corona is actually a fantastic paintbrush and uh, it's what I would highly recommend and it's what I love to use. Next, let's go over the Hilti TE4-22 SDS Rotary Hammer Drill. This thing is a bad man pajama. I love the vacuum attachment. I've, done, I've tested this out so many times and I love this specific tool. I do have the TE6 and the TE60, but when it comes to this, this is my favorite model. It does have ATG and AVR technology. Unfortunately, this does not have a chiseling feature. This does have a forward and reverse. This plows through concrete like it's nothing. And it's very easy to pop out the bit. Vacuum attachment, it does have a measuring tool right there so you know you can control your depth. But this is an awesome mamma jamma. I've done videos on this already. Tilty sent me these two units over a year ago by now. And then you're good to go. 
And when it comes to their bit, all you gotta do is done and it's good to go. And like I said, this has a, a hammer drill and a regular drill mode, but no chisel. This is the favorite combination that Hilti sent me. I love the TE4-22. All right, so let's go over the Bosch EC brushless motor freak. Now, when it comes to this anvil, it is amazing to be able to have a quarter inch hex and a socket in one without using a socket adapter because guys socket adapters that go into drills and impact drivers do not last long and so the model number for this is gdx 18 v 1800 the variable speed trigger only 3400 rpm this is a half inch anvil and it is a quarter inch hex the Bosch line is a good line to get into. They have a lot of tools, but this specific tool will do the trick. So Ryobi announced these lights uh, about a year and a half ago. And as soon as I saw them, I wanted them. It came in a two pack. I think when I bought these, these were $34 for the two pack. Tool only, no battery kit or kit. This is model number P769. This goes up to 400 lumens. There is three modes. There's high, medium, and low. And I actually use this to go up in my attic or if I'm working on the vehicle or boat outside, if it turns nighttime when I'm still working on it, these lights are actually perfect. And I'm glad that Ryobi made this light. Unfortunately, there's one feature it's missing that I wish it had. I wish that this had a USB. This is my regular upload from here on out. I love doing these. I, I am very energetic. I have so many things to review and so many things to point out. It's awesome. That's pretty much it, guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.